Welcome back. So there was two planes that collided in Dallas during an air show. So yeah, historic, two historic military planes collided and crashed to the ground Saturday during the Dallas air show, federal, yeah, federal officials said, sending plumes of black smoke billowing into the sky. It was unclear how many people were on board the aircraft or if anyone on the ground was hurt. Anthony Montoya saw the two planes collide, just stood, just stood there, was in complete shock and disbelief, said Montoya, 27, who attended the air show with a friend. Everyone around was gasping, everyone was bursting into tears, everyone was in shock, and I don't blame them. Our emergency crews raced to the crash scene at the Dallas Executive Airport, about 10 miles from downtown. Live TV news footage from the scene showed people getting up, setting up orange cones around the crumbled wreckage of the bomber, which was in the grassy area. The Boeing B-17 flight flying fortress and a Bell P-63 King Cobra collided and crashed around 1.20 p.m. Central Standard Time, um, the FA said in a statement. The collision occurred during the uh, commemorative Air Force wings over Dallas show. The B-17, an immense four-engine bomber, was a cornerstone of U.S. air power during World War II. The King Cobra, a U.S. fighter jet, a fighter plane, was used mostly by Soviet forces during the war. Most B-17s were, were scrapped at the end of, this, of the war, and only a handful remain today largely featured at museums and air shows, according to Boeing. Several videos posted on Twitter showed the fighter plane appearing to fly into the bomber, causing them to quickly, quickly crash to the ground and set off a large ball of fire and smoke. Really horrific to see, Aubrey Ann Young, of 37, of Leander, Texas, who saw the crash, her children were inside the hangar with, with their father when it occurred, and, she, and she's still trying to make sense of it. A woman next to Young can be heard crying and screaming hysterically on video that Young uploaded to her Facebook page. Air, air show safety, particularly with older military aircraft, has been a concern for years. In 2011, 11 people were killed in Reno. Nevada when a P-51 Mustang crashed into spectators. In 2019, a bomber crashed in Hartford, Connecticut, killing seven. The, NTB, the NTSB said then that it had investigated 21 accidents since 1982 involving World War II era bombers, resulting in 23 deaths. Wings Over Dallas bills itself as America's premier World War II air show according to a website advertising the event. The show, uh, scheduled for, well, November 11th through the 13th, Veterans Day, and guests were to see more than 40 World War II era aircraft. It, yeah, its Saturday afternoon schedule included five uh, the flying demonstrations, including a bomber parade and fighter escorts featured uh, the B-17 and P-63, the FA and, Nash and BTSB were launching investigations. So yeah, link will be in the description box below. Sadly, it looks like, well, with fireballs, here's where the people in them don't make it out, and that's not a good sign there, but... Um, and this is very forward when this sort of thing happens and it's like I don't know what to do with in this sort of thing sort of situation um I mean accidents do happen but stay safe out there see you in the next video bye